Hey guys, it's Isabella. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be apps that you need for back to school. I am a junior at the University of North Texas, Go Mean Green. So I figured I would just make this video for you guys, let you guys know what apps help me stay organized. This is going to be the first um, video of me going to like getting closer to going to UNT because I transferred from a community college. So with that being said, um, there are a lot of new, I guess, things I'm going to be encountering this year because I'm going to a university instead of just a normal college. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you are notified whenever I post a new video and you don't miss out. I upload every Friday. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first app that I recommend having on your phone is Canvas or Blackboard or Google Classroom. Whatever you use, my community college and my the University of North Texas, they both use Canvas. Basically, if you don't know what any of those, well, what Blackboard or Canvas is, basically it's like a platform where you can upload assignments and stuff and your, your professors or your teachers basically list it and stuff like that. It's basically a portal for all of your assignments to be on. That way you know what is due and when it's due. So the next app I think you guys should have is Google Drive. Very important, especially if you're doing like papers or essays or like group work, it's very important um, that you have everything in one place and that you have it either accessible on your phone or on your computer. And that way if one of you creates a document or something they're not the only one that has it you can also have access to by adding your email and stuff and that's really important to have access to your group's work next thing i recommend is quizlet we all love quizlet it helps me study a lot personally i learned the best with flashcards and yeah and repetition is my best friend um it i know like i have add so i need some interactive ways of studying that don't just require me reading a book for example so if i have terms i need to like find in a book that i need to memorize and i would just write them down on flashcards or if i think of it to put it on quizlet then yeah but sometimes writing also helps me but yeah so quizlet is an extremely helpful resource i highly recommend using it and trying out their new like study features like the test study the games and stuff that they have so highly recommend quizlet uh, the next thing i have is check check is very resourceful if you need help and your professor cannot help you at the moment or you haven't heard back from them in a while um for my accounting class that i just finished um this summer um I had to refer back to a lot of examples it, they have like solution guides so they help you like with similar problems figure out like how to solve problems so you know how to do them and apply them to other problems that you might come across on like exams. If you're doing online school, you're probably gonna have to use Zoom or Google Hangouts to communicate with your class. Um, so obviously I just wanna throw that in there. I don't know, maybe people are using Skype. I really don't know, but make sure you have access to that. If you don't have access to it on a computer, make sure you have the apps for Zoom or Google Hangouts on your phone definitely recommend it will save you a lot of time the next app that I wanted to talk to you guys about is an app for your computer or laptop and this is uh, I'm not sure if this app is available for PC so I'm so sorry if it's not but this is the self-control app and I've heard a lot of youtubers talk about it over the years on their like back to school videos and stuff like that self control is a great app for concentration and l allowing you to study without getting distracted what you mainly do is you download the application it like prompts you to enter websites that you don't want to go on to while you're studying which is essentially like a blacklist you can set the timer i think from as low as 15 minutes to like maybe a few hours of studying if you really just want to focus this app has been really helpful for me in the past because uh i don't want to disrupt the timer yeah so self-control is free also so definitely go get it on your computer or mac if you can like i said i have a mac so i'm so sorry if it's not available i will try to link the link for it down below if i can find it i don't i've had it on my computer since 20 2014 the last few apps I wanted to recommend to you guys are apps 
that you might just need to use on campus. So for example, Venmo for sending money to your friend. Then I use Mint for budgeting. I've used Mint even before I started college. Um, so yeah, obviously if you have Venmo, you want to connect it to your bank account. And so it's just easier if you have Venmo, if you're gonna have Venmo that you have your bank app on your phone as well. Okay guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications by clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified whenever I post a new video and you don't miss out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me and comment down below what your favorite part of going back to school is this year. Uh, so I'm so excited to start college at the University of North Texas. Go being green! I hope you guys have a really good day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!